Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your November 20, 2021 general reading. What we will do is we will separate areas to make this easier and to get a, a more in-depth look at what's going on. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy um, for the month of November for Taurians. Then we will look at anything emotional, what's going on um, with, with love, with, you know, feelings that probably need to be released, that sort of stuff, before we go into opportunities um, that have to do with work and career and sustaining yourself, if that makes sense. So let's have a look what we got for Taurians. Remember, this is a general reading, so it might not necessarily uh, resonate with all of you. But that is just the nature of having um, general readings, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe there. So, quite a lot going on energetically, which is always always the case with Taurians. You're not gifted to not think. This is one of the areas that Taurians struggle with the most, is to really master the art of being in the now completely and not overthink and not be affected by what other people want from you and that urge that you somehow carry in your genes to want to be in charge and to want to help, right? So, here's what we got for the energy for the months. We have the Spirit of Truth, the Ancestor of Boundaries and the Hunter of Dreams. Now, the Ancestor of Boundaries is basically the middle um, energy <clears throat> and therefore the most important. So, this is how this works. You have the Spirit of Truth to begin with. So what the guides are saying to you is pay attention to what and whom you're supporting. Pay attention to how you truly feel when you look at what's happening in your life. And the spirit of truth is saying be truthful about what you are finding. So if you are assessing life without the panic that is another thing that the Taurians can do to themselves is to be like, whoa, worst case scenario thinking. Right? Try not to do that. Um, you have the spirit of truth. It is about assessing what's really happening in your life and paying attention. And then as your middle energy is the unjust of boundaries, which is basically what this is about. What the guides are saying to you is whatever it is you find, you may not be able or willing to really make major changes and the universe isn't asking you to anyway. What they're saying to you is because you are a person that is easily burdened by, well, I suppose that that sense of, you know, I want to make, I want to please everybody. I want to make sure everybody and everything works <clears throat> within a set of parameters that you somehow set, if that makes sense. Um, you, 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 and it's really speaking, it feels like, you know, Taurians, you want a very orderly world and everything is sort of, that's what we want to do. And the guides are saying is, no, what you need right now is not being in charge. And, okay, maybe I can do this over here and can do this over here. It's simply about having boundaries. Ultimately, what the guides are asking you, Taurians, is to say, you know what? I leave you to that mess, you know, and I'm just removing myself a little to focus on myself. That's important for Taurians at this point in time to focus on yourself and have some boundaries because your outgoing energy is the hunter of dreams, which means your dreams at this point in time are trying to tell you something. So get yourself a notepad or a dream journal 
and then write down what you remember from your dreams. If possible, write them down every day for about seven days and then see if there are patterns that you can see. Because the hunter of dreams literally means that your guides are trying to tell you something and they're trying to reach you and somehow they have to resort to trying to find you in your dreams because you're too busy otherwise. Which is another very Torian thing. You just tend to be busy. And um, boundaries apparently would free you up because you tell people off a little. Right? That is the overall energy for the month of November. That's, that is what is asked of you. Now, with regards to your love life, the emotional side of your being, you have the hunter of death, the hunter of path, and the ancestor of knowing. The hunter of path is the one in the middle, therefore it becomes the most important energy. <coughs> with regards to your love life, Torians, there isn't necessarily anything really new or anything really exciting coming in but it is about reflecting which again this is probably why you also need boundaries if that makes sense you have the hunter of death which means something needs to go either something that you hold on to maybe uh, an outdated belief that you carry with you into your relationship maybe an expectation that is unreasonable that you are carrying into a relationship. So reflect on um, what causes the issues here. And is it something that I bring up? And does it really make sense? Whatever I'm bringing up, is this really happening in this relationship? So this is really about reflecting. Um, and the hunter of death is really about putting something to rest. If you are not a person that feels I'm carrying the past with me into this relationship, then probably what needs to be <laughs> put to sleep for good <laughs> is, how can I phrase this best, because you have the hunter of path. So, so what the guides are saying is, instead of thinking and looking at stuff that is stale and doesn't work, therefore there is frustration inside relationships, this is really about you deciding, let's do this differently. Let's cut away the things that make you feel we're not going anywhere, anywhere here. So reflecting is important because you have the hunter of path, can't pronounce the H, path. <laughs> and so therefore, um, you at this point in time are looking for where are we going here? What am I going to do with my love life? And should you be a person that is not in a relationship, then it also warrants for you to realize, um, let's assess myself and see what is it I really, really want in a relationship, if that makes sense. And want might not be the right word, I just can't find a better one at this point in time, because here, as your outgoing energy with regards to your love life and your emotions, you have the ancestor of knowing. And what they're saying to you is, when you have the ancestor of knowing, which means you normally look through situations and people easily, there isn't much that fools you. And sometimes you also therefore know what you sign up for and what you get yourself into so maybe it is time for you Torians to not paint a nicer picture just because you don't really want major changes, right? And the other thing that comes to mind is something a bit weird. Um, they're sort of showing me, oh, other people may have it even worse. What a lot of crap, right? It doesn't matter how bad someone else has it. Just because there are some people out there who probably kick their heads in every day, does not necessarily mean your life is great. So please don't compare yourself to other people's worst case scenario to make your life, your love life, look great. If that makes sense. And it's always easy to think of, oh, it could be so much worse. Here's the trick. This is something I've, I've been saying for, for decades, really. 
and, and, and I stand by it, would you advise your best friend to be in the relationship you are in? Would you advise, advise your best friend to start the relationship that you just ended? If that makes sense, all these things, right? If the answer is, I wouldn't want my best friend to be in these situations, then there needs to be changes. And that's all the guides are saying to you. You know, there need to be changes and you have the hunter of path. So diversify your thoughts, see where you really want to go, which also has to do, Torians, with self-esteem. If you don't believe that you can be loved just the way you are, then you attract people who are trying to change you because somehow you don't feel, you know, good within yourself. Therefore, you're looking for change somehow and someone needs to trigger it, if that makes sense, right? So really, really important with Toreans because there is this part of overthinking um, in Toreans and there's also a part of wanting to please in Toreans and want to be acknowledged. A lot of Toreans, energetically speaking, um, are very industrious people in the sense that there's frustration purchases in the energy of Toreans. So if things aren't working, let's buy myself some more flowers. Let's, ooh, there's another uh, picture that I can put on the wall, right? I want my home to be nice. When are you buying stuff that you're buying because you want to look at something else rather than your life? This is all about looking at your life right now. Now, so let's have a look at um, opportunities with regards to um, work and um, sustaining yourself financially, if that makes sense. You have the hunter of vision, the ancestor of protection and the ancestor of exile. So the hunter of vision is basically saying to you, perhaps with all the experience you have, perhaps you haven't truly found your way of being happy within your work environment, right? The hunter of vision means you're looking for something that fulfills you ultimately. So ask yourself, what would I really would like to do without thinking, well, that's just, you know, that's just totally irrelevant because couldn't afford it, if that makes sense. Just look at what is it you want to do. And then the trick is to, to start somewhere. So I love my guides, but they're a bit weird sometimes when it comes to um, imagery. So they just showed me someone who wants to be an astronaut. And people go like, you don't even know how to count from one to 10. Can't be a bloody astronaut, <laughs> right? So, so um, the scenario here is, don't listen to people that tell you what you can and cannot do. And if it is true that you wouldn't get through the training because of literally mathematical problems, would you be willing to look at your so-called shortcomings and find a way to try to overcome them? Because in the end, it is not about becoming an astronaut. It's becoming, it's, it's getting over hurdles that hold you back, right? So that's the scenario that they show me here with the, with the astronaut. And they have the ancestor of exile, which means it is really important for you with regards to anything that has to do with career to make sure that you are a part of it. You have the ancestor of exile, which means you always feel like, oh, if this isn't working, I'm going to be pushed pushed out or you put yourself in a corner because maybe you don't agree with what's going on ultimately what the guides are saying to you reflect on what it is you would like to do with your life and then ultimately manifest that change okie dokie that was the um, November reading for Toreans see you all next time bye, -bye.